It's that time once again for another Roblox Weekly News and I have with us today clone number one and clone number two. That's right, they're both back in the studio. We're back here together, all one happy family. When pigs fly. I'm gonna forget he said that. I'm missing Let's get on with the news. What's up guys and welcome back once again to another Roblox Weekly News and this week in the news guys well we have a few things first off we are go going we are growing ever close to the Bloxy Awards that's right the Bloxy Awards are coming up guys and we will be covering it next week right here we'll be um Showing off the winners of the Black Sea Awards. A lot of cool people up in the runnings for Black Sea Awards this year. So be sure to check those out. You guys can uh, um, can check out on Twitter, uh, on Roblox's Twitter, and uh, in their news section. And there's a lot going on with that. So guys, be sure to check the, those out. And again, we will cover all the winners here on the Roblox Weekly News next week. And... Um, Ooh, I'm excited for that too, by the way. This is going to be awesome. I don't know who's going to be the winners, but they're going to be well-deserved winners as the whole community has come together to vote on those awards. Moving on! Roblox retweeted this post on their Twitter. It looks like a live display of a Roblox toys in a store somewhere. By licensing source, um, they express that there's a huge interest in a new Roblox toy line. I just want to know if I'm going to be made into a toy. Um, probably not, but that would be amazing if you guys could go out and get a Dark J action figure. I mean, I'm just... Roblox? Hello? Roblox? Can I be made into an action figure? I, I want I want to buy a Dark J toy. That would be super amazing. <laughs> Roblox retweeted an Azer Minds post um, by Berenza, where um, he states the Azer Minds staff dressed up in their finest clothes. For the Black Sea Awards, so everybody getting prepped for the Black Sea Awards. It's an amazing event coming up. And as you guys can see in the picture, um, the Azer Mind staff uh, that is currently there, Ma Bucket, um, Zavitha Albino, who is out of order, Foxy, and Dominus Blue Steelus. Now, another thing, if you guys go into Azer Mind and you swim left, um, it, 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 if you go into the world first where there's the broken bridge, if you jump off the broken bridge and swim into the river and go left, you can go into the staff room and you can see all the uh, Bereza staff there sitting around a table. And yes, I am sitting there. My character is sitting there. Um, apparently the uh, table was made by Dominus Blue Steelus and... Um, he has me playing <laughs> Lumber Tycoon 2 at the table. That happened. <laughs> Moving on to other news. On January 24th, uh, it was Compliment Day, and Roblox took that time to compliment design it on their stylish outfits. So be sure to check out design it. Also on January 24th, Roblox posted an exclusive limited time offer, 75% off the snowboarding outfit on Xbox One until January 30th. So I believe these next few days are the last days you guys have, so go out and get your 75% uh, off of the snowboarding outfit if that's something that you want. Also, Roblox is starting something new called 
Hack Week. It is a blog that is being posted. Um, you guys can check it out on uh, um, Roblox's Twitter page, which is pretty freaking cool. Um, they got some cool videos and some just some cool things uh, pertaining around Roblox, so be sure to check out that blog. Other than that, guys, that is all I have for the news for this week. Um, if you guys are excited about Bloxy Awards, then let me know in the comment section below. And um, with that, I'm going to hand it off to clone number one with this week's top five. Off to you, clone number one. What's up, guys? I'm clone number one, and this is your week's top five. In the fifth spot for our top five this week, guys, we have none other than Phantom Forces. Some call Phantom Forces the Call of Duty of Roblox. You make that determination and check the game out yourself. Phantom Forces was last update did on 1-25-2017. Latest update patch notes are fixed adjusted spotting mechanism, testing new spotting notifications when you have been marked, and fixed guest chatting. That's the same patch notes as the last time I reported on this game, but be sure to check it out. There's a video, a new video covering all the UI updates and things like that within the game, so awesome. In the fourth spot for our top five, guys, that goes to none other than Pokemon Brick Bronze. Pokemon Brick Bronze has just added the fifth gym into the game, and you guys can go in and get your fifth badge. Check it out. It's definitely amazing. Um, this game was developed um, by Pokemon Brick Bronze version, uh, Lando64000, and T Brad M. So be sure to check this game out. It's awesome. If you guys love Pokemon, you will. Definitely love Pokemon Brick Bronze. Moving on to our third spot in our top five, guys. The third spot goes to none other than Murder Mystery 2. Murder Mystery 2 has been smashing the top five since I've been doing this top five segment. It's just addicting, guys. You get to go in, be a murderer, or be a sheriff, or be a survivor. I mean, what more could you want? Go around and just kill each other or 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 save people or or just survive use your logic your trickery and be the best there ever was no anyway, that that's that's pokemon I... moving on to the second game in our top five guys and that goes to none other than lumber tycoon 2 that's right lumber tycoon 2 developed by defaultio is an amazing free build tycoon game where you chop down wood, get blueprints, and build massive creations. You can build anything that your heart desires. It is so limitless. It's just amazing. Lumber Tycoon 2 with a massive community is still holding strong in our top five. Moving on, guys, to the number one spot in our top five. And this week, that goes to Prison Life. Prison Life, developed by developed by Aethetical. I think I'm saying that right. I always get that name. If I am not saying that name right, somebody tell me how to pronounce it. I think it's Aethetical. Was last updated on 11-28-2016. Um... The broken car spawning glitch has been fixed. Old servers may still experience this glitch, however, so car spawners may be glitched in some versions. Also fix the hole behind the prison. So guys, be sure to get your jail time on or your time as a guard and keep those prisoners at bay. Either way, you'll have a fun time in Prison Life, version 2.0. Be sure to check it out. And guys, that concludes this week's Top 5. So with that, I'm going to hand it back to Dark J with this week's Celebrity Interview. Off to you, Dark J. What's up, guys, and welcome back once again to another Celebrity Interview. Today, guys, we have with us Evan Bear. What's up, man? Um, I, I really don't want to be here. I'm forced under my own will. 
He's he's lying, guys. He's he's. Uh, I did not tie him to a chair, put him in my basement, and and have him on speakerphone. That's Help me, not please. what's. That's not what's going on. I I swear. Oh, <laughs> uh, so so what's up, man? How you doing? I'm doing amazing. How are you? Uh, doing all right. So how many? Um, I should say now. Normally, I would say how many subscribers do you have, but how many Twitch followers do you have? Well, I'm currently at uh, around thirteen thousand four hundred. That's awesome, dude. That's awesome. So you have, so it would be safe to say you have about thirteen thousand people that um, look up to you in a, in sort of a way. Is there anybody that you look up to? Um, not necessarily. I kind of look up to Brezza just a little bit, uh, just because of you know I really like his games. His streams are really amazing, and I kind of kind of do some stuff that he does too, or take some stuff that he does and kind of twist it in my own in my own way. So I would yeah, I would say I would look up to Brezza a little bit. So yeah. Awesome. Cool. Um. So you're in the running for a Black Sea Award. How how do you feel about that, man? Overall, when I, like, I, I kind of expected to be nominated for the Bloxy Award just because my channel has just grown up enormously, or whatever you want to say. It has just been insane uh, in 2016 how much my channel has grown, along with a lot of other Twitch streamers. So I was really hoping that I got nominated, and then I did. I think it is just, it is insane. My viewers, they are amazing. My YouTube subscribers, I know I don't upload on YouTube a lot, but they are amazing too. I think, yeah, I, I basically don't have the words for it, so. Just in awe, huh? Just. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm basically just shocked, basically. And if I win it, then that's going to be very, very big for me. So who's who's the competition for uh, for streamer? Well, currently there's these two uh, bigger YouTubers. Uh, one of them has, I believe, a couple million subscribers. It's Guava Juice, and he actually has only done one Roblox live stream ever um, on any platform or any website or anything. So it was on YouTube Gaming. And then so the other he one, got, he got nominated for streamer, but he only did one stream. Yes, he has only done one live stream ever for Roblox. Wow. <laughs> and then the other one is Gamer Chad, and he has done three live streams for Roblox um, ever. And one of them was actually a couple weeks ago, but yeah. Okay, alright, so you got. Seems like you got a pretty strong foothold in the competition. Although, then we have also Laser1785 is also nominated uh, for, for uh, you know, the same award. So it's going to be kind of interesting since he has about 126,000 subscribers on YouTube and about 5,000 or 6,000 followers on Twitch. So it'll, it'll be very close between us, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's definitely got a big following. So we'll have to see, man. It'll be the best of luck to you for that one. Yeah, definitely. So out of all the Roblox games that you play, man, what is your favorite? I don't know if I really have like just one favorite game because I'm constantly finding a lot of new games uh, that I that I just am really addicted to for a while. Then I stop playing them, but then I get back into them. Uh, obviously, I'm very well known for Miner's Haven, so Miner's Haven was a really good game, or it still is a really good game. Um, so I really like that. Uh, some newer games that I've actually found, and one of these isn't actually new. It's been out for a while, but I just found this lately. Zombie Rush. I love zombie rush now i think i think that's a really good game and then another it's very very small it actually was just started being made a couple months ago uh but another one it's called icebreakers uh probably not a lot of people have heard of it but uh icebreakers it's kind of like freeze tag or like um that's kind of like freeze tag basically um but you have but it's there's a little twist to it uh where you have you have to actually hit people with like an ice sword to actually freeze them so it's, it's a little different but it's really really fun oh cool i know i have a lot of viewers telling me to play that uh zombie rush i didn't do i have not checked it out yet but i was planning on doing it on one of my monday uh monday games so you say it's awesome i'll have to check that out for sure yeah zombie rush is a really really good game i've spent like probably over eight hours on that game or probably even more than that 
Nice. So, how did you come up with the name Evan Bear? Okay, this is this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. So, a lot of people have asked me this. I haven't responded responded to all those, but basically, obviously, my name's Evan. So, you know, that's how I got Evan. Uh, for Bear, my dad used to call me Evan Bear when I was really, really little. Uh, I have no clue why. He just he just used to do that. Uh, so that's Evan Bear. And the reason why I did Evan Bear one instead of just Evan Bear is because when I was signing up for my first account online, which my first account online was for a Webkins account, uh, I had somebody had already uh, had the name Evan Bear, so I had to put a one at the end. And then ever since then, I've just had Evan Bear one. So it's pretty simple, but yeah. Nice. It sounds like uh, the name of like a spaceship or something like that. It'd be like Odyssey One, but no, it's e the Evan Bear One. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. All right. So outside of um, Twitch, YouTube, do you have any hobbies or interests or things that you like to do? Well, outside of uh, outside of Twitch and YouTube, let me see here. Um, there's I like. I don't really know. Overall, I mean, I like watching uh, different TV shows. If that counts, that's a. I mean, I don't know if that if you would count that, right? I I, yeah, I mean, I suppose I, I yeah, know. because it's interest. Uh, you know, if you're I guess it's in interest. It. Yeah, I mean, there's not much that I do because a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of my time and effort goes into Twitch, and not as much as YouTube. Like not as much of YouTube. It's more Twitch, but. A lot of my time and effort goes into that, and of course I'm still in school too, so that, you know, a lot of um, time goes into that too. But, um, so overall, yeah, I, mainly if I'm not streaming or you, doing YouTube stuff or whatever, I'm uh, either, well, asleep, of course, you know, because you need to get asleep. But uh, of course, I'm probably watching, you know, TV shows or probably hanging out with my family or doing something like that, so. Sleep? Who needs sleep? You don't need sleep. Well, yeah, I, I need sleep <laughs> sometimes since, you know, I'm a bear and I need hibernation, you know, I, I hibernate and stuff, but yeah, I mean, <laughs> a lot of people don't. You're probably like a vampire or something, but yeah, I do have to get hibernation, so. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a vampire. <laughs> All right, so the last question of this interview, man, is um, if you... If you could leave my viewers, your viewers, with a lasting impression, something that they could take with them and remember, like a lasting phrase or something important that you could just tell them, what would it be? Wow, I've, ne I've never actually thought of this. Um, probably what I would want to say is just through, through anything that you're going through, you need to find something that that just one little good thing out of it because one if you focus on that one good thing it can get you through that and then you can look back on the bad thing and actually see how yes it was bad that this happened or you know whatever was happening to you that happened but you can look back on it and see that it did change how you are now or how something is now and it was probably changed it for the better basically awesome awesome well dude you have been an awesome interviewee and I want to thank you for coming on this show yeah yeah um, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, thank you for that so all right guys this has been another celebrity interview and thanks for watching What's up guys, clone number two here, <clears throat> in the studio, nice and happy, with this week's Weekly Spotlight, and your Weekly Spotlight this week goes to a game called Volt, as you guys can see right there, Volt, created by Team Volt, is an awesome game that brings you back to sort of the feel of the Tron era. The graphics in this game are just amazing, super cool. They had an update in January. Um, update was on 1-26-2017. And their update gave out a Twitter code for you to be able to celebrate the Bloxy Awards with the code Bloxy 
exclamation point. So be sure to add that code into the game. Um, I'm not sure what it gives you, but they added a new bike, the Big Wheel. Um, they added R15 uh, characters to the mix, so you guys can use your new R15 animations. If you have the flying animation, like I do, well then you can fly around. Um, they added where you can wear your own outfit, no more forced volt suits. That's freaking cool. They removed the lengthy intro and improved some game modes, made some bug fixes. Alright, the game description is compete with your friends in one of four arenas, fighting for your life. Don't run into any walls or trails or it will be game over. So guys, be sure to stop by and check out the game Vault. There will be a link to it down in the description below. And um, be sure to give me your suggestions for next week's Weekly Spotlight in the comment section below. And with that, guys, I'm going to hand it off to Dark J for this week's Miner's Haven Weekly Theme Challenge. So off to you, Dark J. What's up guys, I'm here in the official Miner's Haven Submission Showcase, and guys, I have a little bit of news regarding uh, said uh, showcase. Um, Foxy is working on something big and new, and this is not going to look like this for very much longer into the future. I don't know how long it's going to take, but it's going to be super awesome. As you guys know, um, Foxy is an excellent builder, and some things are coming. Also, another announcement before we get into this week's uh, weekly challenge theme. Um, we are bringing on, on board a new hoster into our um, quadet or um, four hosts, our group of four hosters, if you will. Um, so, big announcement that um, we have officially made Binary Crimson the next hoster. hoster out of the four hosters so a big shout out to him um, if you're watching this congratulations binary and becoming one of the four hosters and um, yeah so guys with that um, let's get a drum roll for this week's theme it is none other than darkness or void so, Dark Void, if you will? You know, it, it kind of sounds like you guys shipped me in Void and then made a theme out of it. I, I, my, I, I'm trying to wrap my head around it. Dar darkness and Void. Dark Void. What is going on? Okay, well, anyways, guys. So get your uh, darkness or void type entries in by next week. Um, be sure to PM them to Void Sealer. You guys have until February 1st at 9 p.m. to get those in. So get those in. And um, yeah, without th further ado, we're going to go um, to the private showcase where we have the winners of the Sky theme lined up. And, um, hold on to your butts, and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm in here in our private showcase with, uh, <laughs> Void Sealer, who is now Content Void, and Flaming Void, who is now Cobalt Flames. <laughs> um, I don't know if they changed their names so that people didn't just call them Void and Void, but... <laughs> But guys, I'm about to turn around here and show off the winners of the Sky Theme in 3, 2, 1, BOOM! Look at that. These are the three winners of our Sky Theme. In first place, we have Aurora Eterna Luque by David T. Loro. In second place, we have Cloud Cutter by Out... Cloud Cutter Outpost by Pokemon Master 8619. And in third place, we have Airborne by Resistor. And um, the message of the day by Void is don't use 35 unions in one item. <laughs> Apparently, we had a item that would have placed in the top three 
had uh, um, Foxy not come in and disqualified it due to having too many unions. So keep that in mind, guys, when you are making your entries in the future, not to use so many unions. All right. So let's start with the first place winner. Uh, if I can get up here. Okay. Ah! I have to walk around this massive item. Okay. All right. So this is the Aurora uh, Eterna Lucaet. Lucid. Lu I, I, I don't know how to say that. Well, anyway, this is a cell furnace with... It, it has like an orb coming out of it. This thing is pretty freaking cool. I like it. It's got crystals around the outside. It's on clouds. Like, it's definitely in the sky. And um, for second place, the Cloud Cutter Outpost. Um, it's like a airship, like a floating airship over top of a, like, I don't know if that's maybe representative of clouds. And it's a cell furnace, so this thing is pretty freaking awesome, too. I like it. I like the rings. I think it's, it's sort of like futuristic uh, um, hovercraft. Which is super awesome. And in third place, we have the Airborne here by Resistor. It's got a nice little rocket ship. It's got a balloon with a package. And um, it's got, it's got a, um, power generators, the uh, little air uh, um, a windmill power generators. And it is a up, it's a up high upgrader. So, guys, it's pretty awesome. This is the three winners for the... Uh, um, this week's challenge entries so be sure to get your um, dark void entries in uh, next week and um, yeah so I'm gonna hand it off to uh, clone number one with this week's weekly shout out so off to you clone number one all right guys I'm clone number one and I'm back here but I'm here with our weekly shout outs and today guys our weekly shout out goes to a player by the name of Saracusa. This thing is insane. From what I understand, guys, now I've had a lot of people direct me to Saracusa's base. Saracusa's base is a massive maze. That's right. Um, apparently, from what I've been told, you could spend 20 to 30 minutes in the maze up there just trying to find your way through it and there is Saracusa right there so this is a big shout out to Saracusa I could probably do an entire episode of just going through his base let me ask him here how long did it take you to make that maze this is insane like literally guys the magnitude of how large this is is just it's look at that i mean look hold on if i don't know if i can get yeah you guys can kind of see up the top of it right here that is a maze and that is the easier level there's another level up top that is even harder to get through than this point um, he says he started building it the first week of December, so just under two months to build this, guys. So, wow. <laughs> Definitely deserving of this week's weekly shout-out, guys. So, big shout-out to Saracusa. Amazing freaking base. I mean, that is just, that is mind-blowing. Oh, okay. Oh, no, the top part is the easy one, and then the, the second layer is this hard one. Okay. So yeah, there's two mazes up there. It's just, it's, it's nuts. It's nuts. So guys, if you like this video, be sure to hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, or if you're just new to my channel. And if you do subscribe, click the little bell for awesome notifications. And as always, guys, stay awesome. I'm Dark Jayan. I'm out. You are a pain in my butt. I can see the moon. I'm the moon and the stars I bleh. Oh, oh man, oh man, oh man, this is crazy. This is